The Russian Sukhoi Su-57 Felon is known for its impressive speed and combat capabilities. The USF-35 Lightning II is widely recognized for its versatility and impressive capabilities. It can be challenging to determine which jet is superior between the F-35 and Su-57 due to various factors. Therefore, if you're interested in exploring the topic, without any further delay, we'll get started. The F-35 is, in fact, widely regarded as the best advanced multi-role attack fighter since its introduction in 2015. Crucially, Russia has not benefited from the recent introduction of the Su-57 as a direct counterpart to the F-35. Only 76 of them have been produced by the Empire so far, and some analysts rank the Su-57 as one of the worst fighters of the fifth generation. Although the Su-57 Felon's faster and more advanced than the F-35 in some respects, there's still cause for concern. So to decide who wins between the F-35 and Su-57, let's start with the history first. The F-35's history can be traced back to the Joint Strike Fighter Program, where it was developed as a replacement for the F-16 alongside the F-22. Lockheed Martin ultimately created a single-engine design that was both fast and lightweight, making it a remarkable fifth-generation aircraft. The F-35 made its first flight in 2006, but didn't enter official service until 2015. It has a longer history compared to the Su-57. The F-35 comes in various variants, including the F-35A for the U.S. Air Force, F-35B for the Marine Corps, F-35C for the Navy, and the F-35I Adir. It is not only utilized by the United States, but also by allied nations like Israel, Australia, Italy, and Norway. In contrast, the Su-57 has faced numerous delays and production problems. Initially met to enter service in the 90s, it was intended to replace the MiG-29 and Su-27 fighters. The Su-57 is considered a fifth-generation stealth fighter with capabilities for aerial, ground, and maritime combat. It has impressive radar range and maneuverability, but has been plagued by stealth-related issues. It did not participate in the early stages of the Ukraine invasion. Moving on to characteristics, the Su-57 is larger than the F-35, with a significant length and wingspan advantage. It also weighs more, offering increased fuel capacity. However, the larger size of the Su-57 presents challenges in terms of maneuverability and makes it a larger target for enemy aircraft. Despite its size, the Su-57 showcases surprising agility. Next, we'll look into the design of these planes, but before we get into that, lock the aim at the bell icon, fire it, and be a member of our exclusive military family. Now, coming back to the topic. The design of the F-35 sets it apart as a single-engine, supersonic stealth, multi-role fighter within the U.S. military. As the second fifth-generation fighter to enter service after the F-22 Raptor, the F-35 prioritizes avionics and long-range combat capabilities. The U.S. Air Force relies on the F-35 as its primary strike fighter, while the Navy and Marine Corps also employ different variants of this aircraft. Its unique wingtail configuration enables superior stealth and incorporates advanced features. Despite its heavier weight compared to its predecessor, the F-35's relatively short wingspan ensures its combat effectiveness. While drawing inspiration from the F-22 structure and components, the F-35 lacks the same raw performance as the larger twin-engine fighter. Nevertheless, it remains formidable against rivals like the F-16 and F-A-18. On the other hand, the Su-57 Felon, despite facing production issues, exhibits a competitive design. It represents the first stealth aircraft in service with the Russian Armed Forces. The Su-57 focuses on super maneuverability, large internal payload bays, and advanced sensor systems. It possesses noteworthy stealth capabilities, although some believe it cannot match the F-35 in this aspect. The Sukhoi Su-57 shares some structural design similarities with the Lockheed Martin F-22, and its powerful performance makes it a formidable adversary in the air, offering the ability to evade and engage in head-on combat. When it comes to performance, the Su-57 holds a clear advantage. It is significantly faster than the F-35. With speeds exceeding Mach 2 at altitude and Mach 1.3 in supercruise, the Su-57 outpaces the F-35, which reaches a maximum speed of Mach 1.6. This means the Su-57 has the potential to strike first and evade before the F-35 can catch up. However, it's worth considering the experience and training of the pilots, as there are more flight hours logged with the F-35. Despite lacking the stealth capabilities of the F-35, the Su-57 speed allows it to keep pace with the F-35 and compete with it, although it may not surpass the F-35 or F-22 in a race. 
When it comes to weapons, both the Su-57 and the F-35 are highly capable aircraft with built-in armament. However, the F-35 offers a wider range of armament options compared to the Su-57. The F-35's design includes two internal weapons bays with four weapon stations each, allowing for a variety of weapons configurations. The outboard stations can accommodate heavier ordnance and air-to-surface weapons like JDAM and JSAL, while the inboard stations support air-to-air -air missiles such as AIM-120, AM RAM. Additionally, the F-35 has six external weapon stations for non-stealth missions. The F-35A variant features a 25mm GAU-12U internal cannon, while the F-35B and F-35C variants have the cannon in an external pod. In contrast, the Su-57 has a more limited selection of armament. It includes a standard 30mm GSH-31 internal cannon and optional air-to-air -air or air-to-surface missiles. The main weapons bays of the Su-57 carry four beyond-visual-range missiles, supported by two short-range missiles in the side bays. The Su-57 also supports precision-guided bombs and has six external hardpoints for weapons in non-stealth missions. Overall, while the F-35 offers a broader range of armament options, the Su-57 still possesses a formidable array of weapons to fulfill its combat role. Before we get into the stealthy capabilities, lock the aim at the bell icon, fire it now, and become a member of our exclusive military family. Now coming back. When it comes to stealth capabilities, the F-35 surpasses the Su-57. The F-35's design minimizes its radar cross-section, or RCS, through careful airframe design, radar absorbent materials, or RAM, and other components, making it highly difficult to detect. Its RCS is among the best and rivals other advanced stealth aircraft like the F-22. On the other hand, the Su-57 is Russia's first attempt at creating a stealth aircraft. While it borrows design elements from the F-22 to reduce RCS and utilizes radar absorbent material, it still trails behind the F-22 and F-35 in terms of stealth capabilities. Therefore, despite the Su-57's size and speed, the F-35 could potentially target and strike the Su-57 before being detected, giving the F-35 a tactical advantage in combat. The avionics of the F-35 Lightning II are truly exceptional and play a significant role in the comparison between the F-35 and the Su-57. The F-35's mission systems are highly advanced and complex, enhancing a pilot's situational awareness through avionics and sensor fusion. This provides American pilots with a tactical advantage in the air. The F-35 also possesses network-centric combat capabilities and command and control features. Its impressive sensors include the AESA radar, warfare system, DAS, targeting system, and CNI suite, which collectively create a comprehensive picture of the battle space. Additionally, the F-35 can transform into an electronic warfare system, enabling it to track, identify, and jam enemy radars. On the other hand, the Su-57 also aims to enhance avionics and improve the pilot's situational awareness, similar to the F-35. Despite some delays, the Su-57 has made strides in this area. Its avionics are designed to reduce pilot workload and may serve as a platform for testing cutting-edge AI and unmanned aerial operations. The Su-57 features the Information Management System, Myers and 101KS Atoll systems, and it is the first fighter to mount a DIRCM system in addition to traditional countermeasures. Both aircraft possess impressive avionics capabilities, with the F-35 currently holding a more advanced and established position. The reputation of each aircraft is an important factor to consider. The F-35 has a long history and a well-established tradition. It has achieved notable accomplishments in the air, while the Su-57 is still in its early stages and has not yet made significant operational achievements. The F-35 variants, such as the F-35A and F-35B, underwent basic flight training in 2012 and entered service several years later after addressing initial concerns. Hey, that's all for the video today, but we'll be right back soon. Have you dropped your bomb on the subscribe button? If not, what are you waiting for? Drop it now and be a member of our exclusive military family.